Okay, so what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going through six um, separate questions. So the board is set up, ready to go. So I'll work through one at a time and hopefully by the end of this you've got a good idea of how to uh, make a box and whisker plot. Okay, so on the first page of the maths booklet, um, you have a set of data, 19, 34, 22, 16, 27, 35, 19, 12 and 16. And you are asked to find the mode, the median, the range, and the mean. Okay, so your first step should be to write these in ascending order. So from smallest to largest. So our smallest number is 12, then 16, then 16 again, then 19, then 19 again. And 22, 27, and 34, and then 35. Okay, so that is our data set from smallest to largest. First thing we need to do, um, nice and easy, is range. I might change over to black because that mood isn't really showing up. So the range is nice and easy, it's our largest number minus our smallest number. So 35 minus 12, 35 minus 12 is 23. So our range is 23, nice and easy. Our mode is the most common number. You can have up to two modes. So what we notice is we have two 16s, two 19s, and everything else you only have one of. So our most common number is 16 and 19. Okay, two things that are relatively easy to do. The median is the middle number. So it's from in ascending order. Okay? So we need to count and figure out what the middle number is. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We have 9 numbers. And I've got one like We have 9 numbers. So all we need to do is we need to find the centre one. It's going to be somewhere in here. And we could go um, 9 plus 1 divided by 2, uh, which would be 5. We know it's going to be the fifth number. Or if you'd rather not do that kind of maths, you can just cross them out. First and last, then first and last, then first and last, first and last. And until we are left with our middle number, which is 19. So because we, we wanted to figure out the middle number, we just, it's really difficult to see. Okay, I'm using black. All right, um, so middle number is 19. We cut out the first and last number, then the se second first and second last, third la first and third last, until we got to the middle number. Now, in order to get the mean, you need to do a bit of maths. You can use your calculator. Uh, we need to add all of these numbers together and then divide it by how many numbers there are. So we know that there are nine numbers. And I'm not going to do this in my head. Not so easy. You can use your calculators for this kind of stuff. It's not difficult. Two hundred. So if you work that out, it's twenty two point two. Okay? So we've been able to work out the mode, the median the mean and the range for this data set here. That's the first question on the first page. Next slot. You have a stem and leaf plot. So this column here refers to the tens column for each number. So say you have 45, or 40, let's say 42. This is your tens column. And this is your units column. So 4 is in the tens column, 32 is in the units column. So this 
0, 0, just means 0. 0, 7 means 7, 0, 7 means 7, 1, 2 means 12, because there's a 1 in the tens column, 1, 5 is 15, etc, etc. Um, okay, so we could rewrite this as a data set like this. That's better, or, this is actually a better way of, get, of getting it. So, let's have a look at the range. First up, range is all, always good to be the first one to do. 46 minus 0 is 46. Range is 46, done, move on. Um, median. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. There are 13 numbers. Okay? There are 13 numbers, which means that our um, middle number will be the seventh number. So 13 plus 1, 13 plus 1 divided by 2 equals 14 divided by 2, which equals 7. Or we could do our thing where we cross out 1. Until we get our median. Again, it's 19. So you get to choose whether you, which one of those that you do. Uh, what's the time? Still 15 minutes to go. Okay. Mode is just the most common number. So we have two sevens, we have two nineteens, and that's it. So seven nineteens. Done. And then the mean, again, where's my phone? Um, 7 plus 7 plus 12 plus 15 plus 19 plus 19 plus 22 plus 23 plus 27 plus 31 plus 22 plus 46 equals 270. So the sum of all of these numbers is 270 and divide that by there are 13 numbers equals 20.77. Done. So we can now interpret this standard least plot to get our mode, our median, our range, and our mean. So that's all year seven, year eight, year nine stuff. Now we get to the new content. So our new content is looking at quartiles, okay? So this is all to do with medians. Your Q2, Q2 is the median. Okay? So our Q2 is median, so we find it the same way as we find the median, which is to find the middle number. First thing we need to do, is it in smallest to largest? Yes, it is. Okay, now we just need to find our middle number. It's 28. Okay? Now, that's nice and easy. What we have now is we have two new parts of the data. So what we've done is we've split our data down the middle. Okay? So now we have a Q1 here, Q2 here, which we have, and halfway between here, a Q3. Okay? So we need to find our Q1. So Q1 is halfway between 14 and 20. So we go 14 plus 20 divided by 2. Which is 34 divided by 2, which equals 17. So Q1 is 17. Here, our Q3 is halfway between 36 and 50. So 36 plus 50 divided by 2 equals 86 divided by 2 equals 43. 
So we have a Q1 of 17, a Q2 of 28, and a Q3 of 43. And that is that question done. Fourth question is the exact same thing, but we have more numbers. First thing we need to do is check, are they in smallest to largest? Yes, they are. So, let's find Q2. Q2 is the median. So, uh -huh. so we do not have a middle number. 41 and 46 are both in the middle. Therefore, the middle is halfway between them. So same thing as we did over here, 41 plus 46 divided by 2 is 87 divided by 2, which is, what's 87 divided by 2? 88 divided by 2 is 40, so 43.5. Okay? That is our Q3. We've got one of the three done. Now, we have two sets of data. Same as we did before. So now we have to go, okay, so Q1 is in the middle of this, Q3 is in the middle of this. Q1 is halfway between 20 and 24. So Q1, halfway between 20 and 24, it's 22. Q3. Halfway between 55 and 60. 115. Divide by 2. 57 and a half. Okay. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So we have our Q1, which is 22. Q2, which is 43 and a half, and then Q3, which is 57 and a half. So each of these splits the data perfectly into quarters. Okay? So we have two points of data here, two points of data here, two points of data here, two points of data here. They, we are splitting it into quarters, that is why they are called quartiles. Okay? So we have 25% of the data, 25%. 25% and 25%. Okay, and this here um, is the interquartile range. The middle 50%, which is between Q3 and Q1. So that's going to come in handy next for the next two questions. All right. Good. Right. Cool. So, we have some information on our data. We don't actually have our data. Um, that's for this one here. But we have some info on our data. So, we have the minimum. The smallest number is 3. The first quartile is 26. The second quartile, which is a median, is 29. Third quartile is 34. And our biggest number is 41. So, the first thing we're going to do is we want to go from 0... Let's go to 50. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 can go up here. That's close enough. You'll actually have a scale when you're doing this. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to make a box plot here. So, first thing we need to do is get our minimum. Our minimum is 3. So we draw a line. Uh, I'll, tr I'll at least try to get them to be horizontal. Eh, better, but still bad, still bad. Okay, so we have our minimum. Then we get, need to get our Q1, which is 26. Our Q2, which is 29, which is going to be around about there. Again, you'll actually have a grid when you do this. Our Q3, which is 34, around about there. Okay, so remember how I spoke about the interquartile range? This is the interquartile range between Q1 
in Q3. And this is technically Q0 or max, or min, sorry. And we represent the interquartile range with a box. What we're saying is 50% of our data is in this box. And finally, our maximum is 41, which is up here. So it's a box, box and whisker plot. And the middle 50% is the box. The outer 50% is the whiskers. Okay? So I said over here, we have 25%, 25%, 25%, 25%. Here we have 25%, 25%. 25% and 25%. And this is Q4 or max. Okay, so we have a box plot there. Finally, let's draw this one. So this is page seven, by the way. So I've gone page two, page one, page two, and then I've skipped to page seven. Um, so make sure you turn it back. Okay, so what we do is we have a set of data. Is it in order? Yes, it's in order. I made sure it was in order. Then what we want to do is we want to get these data points here that we had before. So we're going to get them in. Q1, Q2, Q3, and the max. Min and max are easy, 62 and 145. Nice and easy. Now, let's find the Q2, which is a median. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Which means that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 is going to be halfway between our um, 86 and our 94. Um, 86 plus 94 divided by 2, I've got no idea. Uh, maybe 90. Okay. Um, then we have to look at our Q1, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. We have 5, so it's going to be nice and easy, 68. If they're odd numbers, it's nice and easy. And then we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Our middle number is 111. Sweet, we have our numbers. All right. Um, da -da 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 um, stuff it. 50, 100. 150. All right. So I'm starting at 50. I'm not starting at zero because we're at lowest number is 62. So why would I? Um, and this can be 75 and 125. That'll do. All right. So our minimum needs to be 62. So that's going to be around about there. Our Q1 is going to be 68. It's going to be about there. Our Q2 is 90, so that's going to be around about there. Got my lines are not straight at all. 111 is our Q3 ish, and then our max is 145. So here we have our box. So this is Q0, U1, U2, U3, U4. Okay, so then we have a relatively hastily drawn box plot um, of this data up here. So we've gone from just finding, finding the, the mode, the median, the range, the mean, to, okay, so the mean is Q2, so what is Q1 and Q3, looking at quartiles. Then we can find a bit more complex data, um, find the Q1, Q2, Q3. Then what we've done is we've, I've given you the Q1, Q2, Q3, and then we've got to turn that into a box plot. And then finally, at the end, we've got the data made, the Q1, Q2, Q3, and that's a min, and then turn it into a box plot. Okay, so that's basically the term up until the end of last week.